Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are talking about the good farmable units uh, for the Titan boss. So if you're getting into the Titan boss, you're in a clan, you want to perform better, then there are a few easily obtainable units that I really recommend you going for. I'm just going to start off with ones I really recommend and then we'll get into all the little details of other farmable ones. Now of course a lot depends on which Titan you're going for, what the rest of your team looks like. If you're more suited to say fighting the Wood Titan, than raising a water shelly doesn't make much sense because of the fact he's a water type you know water isn't good so good against wood but his defense down is extremely useful probably for everything except the wood boss still can defense down but there are other defense breakers that can do a better job even with lower chances but that being said shelly would be the first one i recommend he is a natural three star you can find him often while summoning either from the free eggs or from 10 plus ones whatever being a natural three star means common besides that he is actually farmable in skyfalls as you can see he here, he is the rare of Skyfalls, so he is literally farmable. The reason I recommend him, obviously, is for his 100% chance to turn defense down. Amazing, amazing to have on the 3-star skill. Probably one of the best things you can possibly have, if not the best thing is a 100% chance to turn death down. So of course his stats aren't going to be phenomenal even at uh, 6 star 60 evo 3 because he is a natural 3 star, but they are good enough. I'm personally gymming mine attack attack HP as you can see here, but I built my Shelly and raised him before Titans. I would probably recommend a more defensive approach uh, when coming to Titans so he can attack more than once before he gets completely demolished, but mine does usually survive the first hit or so of a decently strong Titan, but not much after that. I would recommend probably something like defense HP attack or maybe no attack at all if you really just want him there for the defense down but against like a fire boss for example he has his active here or a water boss also he would actually do even more damage with his active skill versus a water boss as you can see here and a single target active. Shelly is probably one of the most awesome units for Titan. I really really recommend going for him if you don't have him. We also have the Horns here of course. A lot of the Horns are actually pretty decent for Titan. The Wood one has a 60% chance on its 3 star skill for defense down, a very important debuff. It is the super rare in the first 8 continents, so everywhere except Skyfalls and Slumbering City. So while it is a little bit harder to actually farm them, so to run story maps and, and, and find them and capture them, definitely more so than just the rare of the stage like this Seedler here would be, you will find them often while summoning as well, being natural 3 stars. Also if you're newer to the game you'll get tons of free Miho soul stones just from progressing through the story, etc, etc. On the subject of Miho, we can also talk about the other Mihos. The light one here isn't as good, I would say, because it does have attack down, which again is a very important debuff for the Titan, but it is on the active skill and it is only 60% chance, so it's definitely not as good. Would much rather have the attack downs on the 3-star skill, but if you do have one and you don't have anything to raise at that moment, then it's definitely a thought. Also, the Dark One doesn't have any debuffs, but it is an HP aggressor and it will survive a bit while doing a bit of damage because of its crit damage plus 100. Mine is very poorly gymmed at the moment, I still have 4 and 3 stars on it, but it's definitely not a top priority because I don't find her to be very crucial to my Titan team. I believe I did actually Evo 3 a Fire One, but I maybe fused it into another one. Fire One is also decent with attack down, it is only 1 turn and only 60% chance, but it is on the 3 star skill, so that kind of makes up for for it. I wouldn't say she's a too high priority Astromon either, but if you have one, if it's already raised, give it some decent gems and uh, would be good for a secondary team after you used all your strongest Astromon or whatever. And the Water Miho is just a sapper, so I wouldn't recommend bringing her into, into the Titan. Besides that, we also have the Light Kilobat or Gigabat at Evo 3. He is really good because of his 100% chance to attack down on his 3 star skill and also his 5 star skill is a 60% chance defense down. So I'd say his 3 star is definitely more important for this case. This is why I raised him because I don't have almost any attack breakers. I have tons of defense breakers but definitely lacking on attack down so this is why I raised him. May even consider raising another one. His stats aren't really all that bad for being a natural 2 star. About 4k defense, 32k HP, just with some kind of randomish gems here. I believe they're all 5 star gems. Didn't really want to give him anything better to be honest since Titan's probably the only thing I'm going to actually use him for, and I think for the moment he serves his purpose well enough, just getting that important attack down in, hopefully it's not resisted, whatever, but he has the highest chance out of every other one. Kilobat's also extremely easily farmable, um, sometimes there are actually just 
kilobats in the shop. I believe I saw one like a couple hours ago, just a light kilobat sitting there. You could buy it. And then you can get the other 15 dark ones from Story Map. Alternatively, you can run a few Guardian dungeons that uh, feature the light kilobat. Get a few soul stones and summon him. That's actually what I did. So extremely easy to evo. It's the same story with a uh, lat here. As soon as you get one water lat from summoning, doesn't really matter anywhere. I believe you actually get a free one in the very beginning of the game. This is, I think, still my free one here. And then you can just farm 15 wood lats in, I believe, Mirage Ruins. And so very easy to evo three as well. And he's a natural three star, so actually a little bit better there. Water lat also has defense break on its three star skill, 60% two turns. And then attack down also on his five star skill. So all around a pretty solid Titan unit. Probably not extremely high priority, but definitely, definitely decent for that role. I personally just went full HP on mine. He's a tank. Basically just want to try and get that death down in there. Hope he survives a couple hits. Yada yada. Dark Snowy actually isn't all that bad either because of the 70% chance attack down in case you don't want to raise another Light Kilobat. We'll have much better stats than Light Kilobat as well, but uh, I think I still do prefer the 30% more chance for it to land. And also the 5 star skill is quite useless for Titan because it can't be stunned. Of course, I definitely recommend building a Light Snowy first if you got one. And then if you get 16 more Snowies, maybe think about going for a Dark one or another Light one, whatever. I I personally would build another light one if I would actually find one. I think I actually have 16 dark snowies now, but I haven't found another light one, so I might build the dark one if I don't find a light one. We'll see. I'm also building a wood Phibian, slowly but surely, 50% uh, chance, two turn death down, 70% chance, two turn death down. So I'm mainly building him because I'm really lacking on wood units. I know the fire one I believe has 60% chance, two turn defense down, and that is probably a little bit better to have a higher chance on the three star rather than the five star. But I have enough fire death downers, I think. Fire Arthur, death down on active. Wood Nightmare, Death Down on 3 star. Yuki, Death Down on both 3 and 5 star. Boltwing, Death Down on 3 star. That's kind of why I chose to go with uh, Wood Fibian instead of Fire. Fibian is definitely harder to farm than any of the others, but he is still a natural 3 star. So he should be popping up a bit in summons as well. But yeah, really hard to find in story mode as he is only in Slumbering City and Skyfalls as a super rare. And if anyone who's gone through these damn quests, catching Wood Fibians, whatever, then you'll know how freaking rare they are, at least when you're looking for them. Fire Candling is also a really good fire debuffer with uh, both 60% chance on 3 and 5 star skill for 2 turns. Water Monkey Key is also a pretty good option with an 80% chance 2 turn defense down. Very high for a natural 3 star monster. You can't farm the water one anymore. I believe he was a like one of the first guardians in the guardian dungeon. But you can farm the fire one, so if you do happen to have a water one or summon a water one whatever then you can get the remaining monkeys you need for evo 3 from slumbering city i believe also if you happen to farm a water gatito i know they are no longer farmable but he is very awesome for the titan as well with 100 chance attack down for two turns a little bit iffy on the wood squirrel here but if you really need a wood defense breaker th this would be an option 60 percent on the uh, three star skill it is a natural 2 star though, so it won't have very good stats, and it is an attacker, so while it will do a bit more damage, it won't be able to survive very well. The Wood Wormtail is also a decent attack downer with 60% chance on his 3 star skill. Again though, it is a 2 star attacker, so it will be very fragile. Wood Jellion is another option for a wood attack downer, 60% only for a turn though on its 3 star skill. I just mentioned her because she is the rebirth unit right now, maybe some people that are unlucky with getting light ones will have some spare for a wood one. Same story with Wood Gatito, I know he's not available anymore, but 100% dev down, pretty awesome. And yeah, that's about it for the uh, good farmable debuffers for the Clan Titan. I definitely couldn't go over all the good units, so I kind of wanted to split this up into parts to also make it a little bit simpler. So for today, we mostly focused on debuffers. In the next part, we're going to be talking about damage dealers, because those two types of units, I think, are the most important. I know healers are also important, and we'll get onto that after the damage dealers segment. So just to recap a little bit, Water Shelly, boom, MVP, make sure to try and grab one. Light Kilobat is also freaking awesome. And everyone else I mentioned is still decent and probably worth to farm if you are taking your clan experience seriously or whatever you want to call that, how that is. 
stuff, you know? It mostly comes down to your specific situation, you know, you may have some units that can fill roles and you don't need to farm certain ones, like maybe you don't need a wood defense breaker because you have an awesome banshee and a wood god T2, whatever, but attack down and defense down are the, actually I think they're the only debuffs that work which means they're very important. They would be very important anyway, even if other stuff worked, except stun. Stun would probably be the best debuff in that case, but. but yeah, it could be I did miss one or the other Astromons. If so, if you have any recommendations for farmable debuffers, we're only talking about debuff, so attack and defense breakers. If you have any others you really recommend farming for, make sure to drop that down in the comments below. Also make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy, I would really appreciate it. Thanks as always for watching, and until next time.